Hello friends and welcome to Time Travelers. I'm Jessica. And I'm Tom. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with us today. We have a great show planned for you today and we can't wait to get started. Did you invite someone to the set? I didn't invite anybody. Did you? Well, aren't you going to let them in? Why do I always have to get the door? You're closest. <sighs> Fine. Hello? Hi! Hello, hello! Super Sunday excitement continues with God's great giveaway! We are here live in Timonium, Maryland to surprise someone with a big surprise. Tell me your name, sir. Uh, my name is Tom. Well, Tom, you are our great grand prize winner. Haha, ha, very funny, Jessica. What did you do? I had nothing to do with this! This is no joke. You won the grand prize! I won the grand prize? Woohoo! Oh my goodness, I can't believe this! Uh, what did we win? Whoa, you didn't win anything. I answered the door. The question is, what did I win? You, my friend, won the grand prize of a hundred American dollars. A hundred dollars? Wow, that's great! There's oh a catch! Gosh. You have to give back part of your winnings. Are you familiar with our organization, God's Great Giveaway? A hundred dollars. Bill, take oh it. Oh my gosh. But there are some I rules with your winnings. As an organization that serves the God Baptist and his people, we request that you use some of your prize to serve others. Oh, that's easy. We can do that. Great. Then I'll just leave this check with you. Thank I'm you. I'm Pearly. This has been God's Great Giveaway. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Doesn't she remind you of someone? No, not that I can think of. Huh. Hmm. Well, anyway, I can't believe I just won. Can you? I just won $100. Just think of what I could do with $100. Check out my new ride. Is this how people drive in real life? Yeah, they swerve. Now let's see what this baby can do. Tom, you drift it off. What? Sorry, Jessica, I was just... You were imagining what you would do with $100, but I don't think you could afford a car like that with this money. That's true, but you know what we can afford? What? Mac and cheese, and a lot of it. I just love mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. I can't have dairy, it hurts my stomach. Oh. However, I do like chips. Now, you need to make sure you spend this money wisely. <laughs> right. How about a hoverboard? I always wanted one of those. Or maybe a snowboard. No, wait. I know what I really want. How about a motorized scooter? Wow, this is so awesome. Wow. This is the best ever. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, can I try one of those? Maybe yeah. I should get one. Yeah. Wait a minute. Actually... The woman said that we need to use some of the money to help other people. We are people and we need this scooter. I guess that makes sense. Get the, get the blue one. All right, I'm gonna order it right now. Done. It says it's gonna be delivered next week. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Alice, Tom just won $100 from God's great giveaway. Isn't that the organization that gives out prize money so that you can use it to help others? That's the one. What are you going to do with all that money? I already spent it. On what? I ordered an electric scooter. A of blue course. one! For who? For us. It's awesome. Huh. I thought you were supposed to use that money to help people. I did. Jessica and I are people, and we really needed an electric scooter. So I helped get us one. Hmm. Sounds like you aren't doing the right thing. It's possible that you care more about spending money on yourself than giving back to God and other people. Nope. I won the grand prize and I deserve to spend it on myself. I don't think you got your priorities in order. But I just want all this money and I don't want to give it up. So shouldn't I just get to keep it? Well, Tom, did you know that everything we have belongs to God? Everything? Everything. Everything we have, our money, our things, our time and talent are only ours because God has given them to us. He has entrusted us with those things and it is our responsibility to use them wisely. Hmm. So, if what we have is a loan to us from God, then we should take extra care of it. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. But I really want to keep the money so I can buy the electric scooter. It would be really fun to have. Why can't I keep the money for myself? Sounds like you are putting your needs before the needs of others. 
You see, God wants us to take care of what He has given to us by using it wisely. And when you use it wisely, you are showing God that you trust Him. Wait, really? Yep. Trusting God with everything is a big part of our faith, and that means even sacrificing something you want for God. But I still don't understand why it's so important for us to trust God with our money. I think today's Bible story might be able to help. Take it away, Alice. Hi, time travelers. Have you ever been asked to do something that was really hard? Sometimes it's hard to do the right thing, especially when it means putting the needs of others before our own needs. It can be a real sacrifice. A sacrifice is the act of giving up something that you want to keep in order to get something or to do something else to help someone. Sacrifice is not easy, but God knows that when we give back to Him and His people, we will be rewarded in heaven one day. In today's story from Genesis, we will meet a guy named Abraham. God asked him to do something hard and scary, but Abraham was willing to make a huge sacrifice for God. Let's check it out in the reading from the book of Genesis. Isaac was a miracle child, born to Abraham and Sarah in their old age. His birth was the fulfillment of a promise God had made to Abraham. He told Abraham that he would be the father of many nations. Sometime later, God decided to see how great Abraham's belief in him was. God said to Abraham, Take your son Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the mountains, and offer him to me as a sacrifice. The next morning, Abraham gathered everything he would need for a burnt offering and set out with Isaac to the place God had instructed him to go. As they walked, Isaac turned to Abraham and said, Father, we have the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Abraham responded, God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering. When they arrived, Abraham built the altar and prepared it for a sacrifice. As Abraham was getting ready to give Isaac back to God, an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven. Abraham replied, Yes, here I am, the angel said. Don't lay a hand on the boy. Do not hurt him in any way, for now I know that you truly fear God. Then Abraham looked up and saw a ram stuck in some bushes. He took the ram and gave that to God instead of his son Isaac. The angel of the Lord called again to Abraham from heaven and said, This is what the Lord says, Because you have obeyed me and have not withheld your only son from me, I will certainly bless you. I will give you as many descendants as the stars in the sky or the sand on the seashore. Through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you obeyed me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow, that story was intense. It sure was. Abraham knew that if he wanted to go closer to God, he would have to surrender everything to God, even if it meant his own son. But I do have one question. Why did God ask Abraham to do such a terrible thing? God wanted to see how much Abraham trusted him. So he asked Abraham to do something very difficult, to sacrifice his one and only son. You see, back in those times, making a sacrifice was a way to show that you trusted God above everything else, even the things that you loved the most. But this was a very hard thing for God to ask of Abraham. Don't you think he was confused why God would ask him to do such a thing? Abraham was probably sad and confused. He didn't know why God would ask him to do that, but he believed that God was good and wouldn't do anything to hurt him or Isaac. He trusted that God had a plan. And God did have a plan. When they got to the mountain, Abraham prepared everything for the sacrifice. But just when he was about to do it, God stopped him. That's right. God was just testing Abraham and didn't actually want him to sacrifice Isaac. God wanted to make sure that Abraham trusted him completely. And because Abraham showed that he trusted God, God blessed him and his family. I think I get it now. Abraham showed that he trusted God because he was willing to give up everything, even the thing he loved most for yes. God. Yes, yes. Like Abraham, we're going to give God our best. We can give to God by listening to his word, by obeying the Bible, and by worshiping God with all that he has given to us. Exactly. And God may ask us to do things we don't understand. And when that happens, we need to have faith like Abraham. Um, Tom? Yeah? Did you read the disclaimer here? No. It says that if you use your $100 to help another person, then the prize patrol will come back and give you an even grander prize. What? Let me see that. It says it right here. Huh. So if I would have trusted God with my winnings and used it for others... I would have gotten a greater reward? That's what it says. I guess you needed to trust God. Yeah, you're right. I cared more about what I could buy with the $100 instead of trusting God with my money. I didn't give my best to God. It's not too late. It isn't? Of course not. The choice is always yours. Abraham had a choice to make. 
He chose to give back what belonged to God, and in the end, God rewarded him for his commitment to his faith. Does that mean I can never own an electric scooter? Not at all. Jesus isn't saying that none of us can have any stuff. He's saying that following God needs to be more important than anything else in our lives. That means making choices that show that we love God and love others. Thanks, Alice. You've given me a lot to think about. My pleasure. Sorry to hear that you didn't get the grandest prize. That's okay. I learned something way more valuable today. That's great, Tom. See you next time. Bye! Bye, Alice! You know, I'm feeling pretty guilty that I focused on what I wanted instead of thinking of others. Yeah, and if you had thought of God and others, then you would have ended up with the grandest prize. I know. You know what? I, I don't care about winning the grandest prize anymore. I wish I had done things differently. You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to cancel the order of the electric scooter and give the money to our church so they can use it to help one of our mission partners. That's a really good idea. Being generous and giving to others is one way that we can give to God. Because God deserves our best, we should give our best. That sounds like one of our steps to grow closer to Jesus. Which one? Tithing. Tithing is when we give a part of our money we have to our church. The money we give is used to help people. When we give back to God through tithing, it is a way of sharing and helping others through the church. It's a way to show that we trust God and want to be a part of the good things He is doing for people. I think we should pray about it. Great idea, Tom. Friends, would you bow your heads and pray with me? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, thank you for showing us how to give. You gave the ultimate gift when you sent your Son to die on the cross for our sins. You gave us your best, and you deserve our absolute best. Help us to remember when we give to others, it's like we're giving to you. We love you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, Father the Son, the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. amen. Now, who could that be? Come in. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm back again. <laughs> Hi, Pearly. What's up? Well, Tom, you gave back to God by helping others, and now I'm here to give you the grandest prize. Wait, I won? I won? I won? I won the grandest prize? Oh my gosh, this is awesome! How much did he win? That doesn't matter. Whatever the prize is, I think we should use the winnings to help others. I think that's a great choice. Friends, our time here is up today, but we hope you take a step in your faith this week by giving back to God. And we hope to see you next time in... Time, time Travelers! Now let's go see what we can do to spend this grand prize on other people. You want to come? I was hoping you would ask.